on the show, you know, we have a package for you. Some people are just outside there doing great work, you know, maybe due to their life experiences, and they just feel that, uh, okay, I've gone through this. Well, let me be a blessing to some other person. And uh, if that's such of uh, the, the case of the founder of the Feet of Grace Foundation, that's Irene Olumese. You know, she, sometimes she had a, a lung transplant and... Uh, in the course of that went into coma and you know after the coma lost her legs and she had to go on prosthetic and she said that because of what she went through at that period of time she looked at herself and said to herself a lot of people are going through all of this how can i be a blessing to the lives of all of those people last week they went out on a walk, on a walk and uh, they gave out uh, artificial uh, feet to people. Watch uh, what actually uh, went down on that um, day. In a world where inclusion and empowerment matters, the Feet of Grace Foundation stands as a beacon of hope. Their recent endeavor, Eat the Street 2023, held on Saturday, 17th June, has left an indelible mark on the lives of amputee beneficiaries. This annual charity walk, spanning five kilometers, was themed towards a society more comfortable with amputees, serving as a testament to their unwavering commitment. The founder, Irene Olumase, a lung transplant survivor and bilateral amputee, fails a commitment to providing affordable access to prosthetic rehabilitation services. Through this remarkable initiative, she celebrates a significant milestone by inspiring, educating, and supporting girls and children facing similar physical challenges. After 20 years of living with a chronic uh, respiratory disease and um, debilitating neuromuscular disease, I had a lung transplant in 2013. And because of the complications of the lung transplant, I had to be in coma for about um, five weeks. And when I came out of the coma, my doctors told me that um, while I was in coma, there was insufficient blood supply to my legs and my hands. And therefore, they need to amputate both the hands and the legs. Um, well, the, the hands miraculously came back, but both legs were amputated below the knees. And um, at that time, the it's what am I going to do next, right? But I decided that I don't want my pain to be wasted. I wanted my pain to benefit somebody else. If I lost something, people should be, gain from it. It was while I was learning how to walk again. And it took a lot to be able to walk. And that's what happens for amputees. You know, when, you, when they lose their legs, to walk again is a, it's like learning like a child, you know especially if it's both legs. So while I was learning to walk again, that I began to think about amputees in Nigeria. How do they manage? These legs are expensive. Who is providing legs for amputees? And so we began to do the research and decided that uh, we, would do, we would set up a foundation that will raise funds and provide um, legs for amputees in Nigeria. The annual charity well held in several countries has an influential impact on over 162 amputee beneficiaries. The Feet of Grace Foundation is dedicated to creating a society that embraces diversity, promotes inclusivity, and empowers individuals facing this challenge. Let people know about the challenges that um, person with disability face, and the theme for this year is towards a society more comfortable with amputees because we realize that the society we have nowadays are kind of a um, stigmat uh, they stigmatize um, persons with disabilities. So we are trying to create awareness that persons with disability are also people like us. So they don't need to be stigmatized. They need to be among us. Through their impactful advocacy efforts, annual charity works and engages social media campaigns they have brought about a tangible difference in the lives of numerous beneficiaries join the feet of grace foundation in their noble journey towards a more inclusive world uh, i thank god for that uh, foundation i with uh, with my knowledge i know they have given so many people limbs um, is, uh, despite the fact it's a charitable organization, they still try their best.
to reach to so many people. As long as you relate to them, they reach to you. And everything changed because thanks to them, I have the artificial limb I'm using now. And also empower me with some money. In fact, that really changed my life. Together, we can make a difference. Come back. So uh, in, that really took so, so much of emotions out from me. They're, just, they're doing 